there's little or no peril on the sea. All real sailors ask is a tall ship, the wind's song, and the white sails shaking. That was the poet Macefield's description, and it's certainly the message of the biennial tall ships race. This year with 82 ships, crewed by some 2,000 young people from 16 nations, it's the most spectacular display of maritime nostalgia in the modern world. Aboard the Polish ship Darpamosha on the home run into Portsmouth after competing in the race from Copenhagen to Gdynia. This is the real stuff of adventure, all handmade, with which no steam or even atomic driven marvel of this technological age can compete. In the glory of achievement and a race well run, the hard tack, the maggoty salt beef and the scurvy of old time sailing days are forgotten. Portsmouth, the Dapper Mosher, passes the Royal Yacht Britannia. In the Royal Parade of Sail, as patron of the Sail Training Association, Prince Philip takes the salute. During the parade, there's an interchange of crews as a further gesture to the Fellowship of Nations, which is the real thought behind the tall ship's race. of the British Sir Winston Churchill salute Britannia. The Russian ship Kruzhenstern won the Katisark Trophy for the most outstanding contribution to international understanding during the races and the parade. As these young people from all over the world forge stronger and more lasting bonds, sailing the tall ships and themselves to the limit, they probably do as much as all the statesmen to bring peace in our time.